story time about how her friend pooped in the town pool. So, first, I was just like, hey, Olivia. And we're, her name's not Olivia, but we're just going to call her that. Yeah. And then, she was like, hi, Nia. Hi, Nia. And then, and then all of her friends were, and then all of her friends and um, Olivia's friends were there. And then they went in the pool, but Olivia had to go to the bathroom. And then she didn't want to climb up down high stairs. So she went to the kiddie pool and she said not to look there because there was an incident going on. But it was not. And then what did you see when you looked there? And then I saw, it when, I, when I looked there, she was making a dump. <laughs> and it was the funniest thing in the whole world. I like... I and after like, this, we're going to do a creepy makeup story time. Yeah. So I'm going to take off my makeup in this part. And she's going to be finishing her makeup. A bit you, makeup. Don't have, you don't put it so much. You just go that. Well, anyways, go to finish story time, Nina. So then, I looked there, and then the lifeguard noticed. Because there's the lifeguard in the kiddie pool. In every pool. Why isn't there a lifeguard in the kiddie pool? There, the, uh, there is a lifeguard in every pool. Yeah. So tell so finish your story. And time. then I was like I, w I could not wait until one of the lifeguards found out. Because she was like laughing. Her butt I was laughing so hard. And you like, don't even know how hard she was laughing. She was like dying. <laughs> And then I couldn't wait because I didn't want to see that ugly, do, do, that ugly doo doo sitting in the middle of the pool because it made the whole entire pool brown. And that's when the lifeguard noticed. Yeah. And that's when they were switching lifeguards because the one lifeguard did not notice because he was like not paying attention. He was on his phone. So yeah. And then basically the next lifeguard when they switched, he noticed. Yeah, the, the ex, next lifeguard. Since they switched lifeguards. Yeah. So, keep going. And then, he, he was very, very, very mad at that one girl. Because there was another girl like near the poop, so he thought it was that girl. But it wasn't. Because I, our, my whole group told that him. Oh. Yeah, they literally told the lifeguard that she pooped in the pool, and it wasn't that kid, so they so he wouldn't yell at that kid because it wasn't that kid. Yeah. yeah you put too much pressure on. So, I just walked there and told her, why didn't you just go to the bathroom? And she was like, I could not. Well, I need all the way up there. Walk for her just walk. to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And, and, then, all, and then she was, and then her and her friend group was like, you are weird. Girl. And then everybody in her friend group were was like, "Are you kidding me?" And then she was so embarrassed. She literally ripped she someone's went, bathing suit. It was. She literally almost got arrested for what she, she did. She. But she was just got in really big trouble by the lifeguards by the she town pool. She wasn't allowed to come back for like a, a month. I think it was two weeks. Two weeks, so almost a month, close to a month. So, yeah, she literally, that's how she almost got kicked out and pooped in the pool. Come back for part. For, um, a, a cre so for creepy story time makeup. Creepy story time makeup. Okay, so, go. this was the night of Halloween. And basically, it's a story time about how um, someone was exaggerating because they thought they had anxiety. No, it wasn't that. It was because they got really, fr they were really scared and had to. So here's the story time. It's it's the story time of why one of of how one of her friends literally um needed to go uh, to the bathroom. No, literally well, they stole did. the whole entire bucket. While the person was watching out the window. Story time. Story time. We're probably going to have a part two of this. So, yeah. And this video is always a story time combined. Yeah. 
Okay, well, anyways, so basically, yeah, she, here's the story, here's the story time. So, one day, we were doing, like, all of our, we Did were doing was our Halloween, and they were trick-or-treating. We were trick-or-treating, doing what we gotta do, doing, doing what ladies do. Stuff. Doing normal, what you normally would do yeah. on Halloween, which is trick-or-treating. And hanging out. So, so we were walking back to the house from trick or treating, and then we saw this girl looking out the window. And then we no, saw no. So they, her, and some of her friends saw the a girl looking out the window of the house with a candy, with a, like a huge candy bucket. So basically, one of her friends didn't notice, and she ran right up to the house, and she was just like taking all the candy that she ended up like just leaving all. Her. And then she poured her candy bag into, and this the lady was at this at this time. The lady was coming down, so and basically the, she like didn't notice the girl. So she poured all her candy bag into the container, into the bucket of candy. She literally took. And she uh, literally took the whole entire thing, even the bucket bag, with her bag in it. So basically, the girl the girl came down right when she was like running, trying to leave. And but then, then she got caught, and then she, she had to go home. She, she went couldn't home. come to our party, and she wasn't. And her mom got really mad at her, so she wasn't allowed out for like a week. Yeah, and then um, she, the mom, her mom and her dad were so mad at her because they they had to hire a babysitter and they had to pay the babysitter, obviously. Because of what they did. Because so her and her family kept going out to places she loved, and we're gonna call her her friend Amelia. No, we're gonna call her John Johnny. No, um, jo- <laughs> um, uh, um, we're gonna call her Viviana. Mm-hmm. No, Millie. Yeah, Millie. Yeah, that's a good name. So basically, she literally got caught, and then that's basically what happened to her. So she got caught. For trick or treating without. No, she got caught for oh, yeah, taking for, the whole candy bucket. And she even took the bucket, guys. It was in. But she ended up keeping all the candy, getting a lot of trouble though. Mm-hmm. So they gave out, gave out the candy to her friends and all her candy. And she was really mad, obviously. Obviously. They, they took all her candy. But that's what happened. And come back for the spooky, spooky, spooky mm-hmm. scary time. Hi guys, super scary story time about how her friend literally almost got, um, wait, what was it? Okay, it's not spooky, but we're going to do spooky makeup. So, let's start with the story time, and it's her story time. So, one day, um, it was Valentine's Day, and she had a friend that, like, literally loved this boy in her class. Yeah. So she always would pass notes, but on Valentine's Day, yeah. she passed him a note that said, and she was sitting right next to the boy, so the she boy was, like, really good friends with her, so she yeah, and that her and that she girl, was. she was so jealous. And, um, like, she, the girl, like, wanted, like, she said, she, she, she so the boy told, we're going to call the boy Johnny. So basically, Johnny read her the note. Like whisper, cause she sat in the front of the class, and there was tissues in the back of the class. So she went and pretended to get a tissue, but ran and slept the note under the desk, then got the tissue and pretended like she needed it, like she needed it bad. Like, and she was like, she was like, like, like every couple of minutes, she was like, can I get a tissue? Can I get a tissue? Can I get a tissue? Like every five minutes. Uh, but this is what she told me, so that's why I know everything. Like. Yeah. Anyways, she was very mad. Like she was mad because she wanted to be super close to the boy. Cause like she loved him. Like literally, not even joking. She loved him like he was. Ooh. Like she loved him. You don't even know how much. Like. She was about to, like... She was about to kiss him. Like, they were getting, like, she was getting married to one of the famous boy on TikTok. No, and he was, like, pretty popular. He was one of the popular boys in her class. Yeah. 
And then... Uh, so basically, literally, she, the girl, like, kept passing notes, like, every minute, five minutes. But then the teacher no, saw her passing a note, and whenever she asked, can I get a tissue, she was like, no, I know what you're doing. And she was like, and then the girl, like, would talk back to her. She, she was like, like then what, what am I doing, huh? And then she the said, you're sending notes like, to your boyfriend. No, she said, you're... You are, you are sending notes to a boy, Antonia's girl boyfriend, and like she was, he they were a boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, her, her boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the te he told the teacher that we were dating, and that's not true. But it could have been. Well, at the time it could have been. I guess we were dating. <laughs> you were dating him. Yes, we just. Kept, it, secret. kept it a very good secret because I keep secrets. And so did he. Yeah. Let's say two secrets. I know. But, anyways, so yeah, literally. And then the boy got sent to the principal's office with the other girl, yeah. and so did she. She didn't do anything wrong, obviously. She just, like, the boy told her all the notes. So basically what happened was the girl got in trouble. She got suspended. Yeah. And she got detention, too. And basically, that's basically how she literally, like, got, uh -huh. like, could almost, like, kicked out of the school. Not kicked out, but, like, she got in big trouble because, like, obviously you're not supposed to pass notes in class. You're supposed to be paying attention and not getting tissues every five minutes. Like, sometimes... Like, after she got a tissue, she would, like, stand there and just keep passing notes the whole time. And, she, and then, because like, the tissue box was, And like, he didn't listen to all the notes. And, yeah, anyways, back to on Valentine's Day. Now it's the second day, because the, the teacher noticed the second day. Um, but on Valentine's Day, she, he got a note from her, the girl, saying, like, from say, saying, Oh, OMG, will you ask me to be your valentine? I love you so much. Like, literally, I would say yes to you. Not even joking. Like, I would say yes in a second. So, like, yeah. And then she, and then the boy just ignored her. Because, like, she obviously was dating her. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah. What the, what the heck did he do to your face? That was the story time. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Come back for next story time. Story time about how her friend literally almost got like into a very bad car accident. No, fight. Fight. Yeah, fight. My mm -hmm. sister did. Start. So, one day I was just walking back from school and um, I saw it was my friend, you know, the girl. You almost got in the last story time. Yeah. And we're gonna call her. We're gonna call her Lily Megan. This, Lily this time. We're gonna call her. There's the same girl from the last story time. And then she, but it was the same boy, same everything. So she almost got into a fight with the boy because the boy told her. So the, she came up to the boy after school, and basically she was like, "Hey, can you ask me on a date?" Oh, and she was like, I would say yes to anything from you. Yeah. And then basically, and was like, um, she no. was watching them, and she, he was like, no, I'm already dating Antonia, which is her, her real name. Her, well, we're gonna, so basically, he was, um, he was like, I'm dating Antonia. And, she, and the girl like, wanted to like, kill the boy because, like, you don't even know how long he, she, she has liked him. It's, like, insane. So, like, the boy was like, yeah, I'm dating her. So, why would I date you? And then, basically, the girl kept saying, like, why would you date her? Why would you date her? And then she got into and then, a fight with the boy because, like, she, you don't even know how much she liked her. She got into a fight with him because he was dating her. So, like... Basically, yeah, that's the story time. It's just like crazy how she did that. And my yeah, bo and let's call the boy Kai. This time. This time we're gonna call the boy Kai. It's the same boy as the last one, right? Yeah. 
going on. Keep going. So then, I was pouting and pouting and pouting. And then, I was so mad.